Good evening everyone. This is just going to be a quick look inside video of this Unity UT353 uh, sound meter, decibel meter. Um, I'll show you briefly what it does, but really I got it. It was, and I want to have a look inside, so I figure maybe you guys do too. Um, what does this do? It's a decibel meter. It seems to only UDB, do DBA. You can set it for fast or slow sampling. It's got a hold button. It's got a backlight. And you can do maximum where it will take the current maximum. Minimum, the same thing. That doesn't strike me as useful under many circumstances. I suppose if you don't want your hold music or waiting room music to fall below a certain value, that might work be useful for something. And then you can shut that off. That's all it does as far as I can tell. Um, yeah, it was the cheapest one I could find from a manufacturer I recognized. So you've got a little foamy wind screen, a microphone, and three AAA batteries. Unity does a number in the same style case with the same specifications of different feature sets. This is the simplest one. Um, one of them has Bluetooth so you can connect it to your phone and I don't know what else. That might be useful for certain circumstances. I was just kind of curious as to see whether, you know, what did my phone's dB meter, was it reasonable or not? Not something you could all get from here. I see a pot right there. That probably is the calibration potentiometer. We will not be touching that. The claim, I think, is plus or minus 1.5 dB, which is really, frankly, not too bad. This thing was $25 shipped from China. So again, you can't complain for what it is. Let's really just to get an idea about some environmental noises around here and whether they are interesting. I wouldn't expect to see much in here beyond a blob on a circuit board, but maybe this is sufficiently specialized that it won't be a blob. Oh, oops. Well, isn't, yeah it is. Okay, so what have we got? We have a blob here and we have a few chips. So let me read those off to you and then maybe I'll look some of them up. So we have this one says Arts Chip CD 405 2BM or 28M. Slide get that a little closer. Maybe you guys can see there. This is the slower one. 40 CD four O five two I think BM that says twenty two fifteen that looks like a date code here as I'm assuming that's the uh, that's the calibration pot these look to be the same. So it says 3 peak TP 227 on that one. Let's see again if I can get that at an angle. And this one also looks to be the same. Again, we have the microphone. Um, there's for, marked for the Bluetooth module there. And here we have CE, well that one I might need a magnifier for. So this one, this, uh, this little 8-pin chip here. Let me see if I can find a magnifier. Okay. Well, 
CE7660, and that has a date code of, looks like 21 something below. Okay, well, let me look up some of these and see what they say, and I'll get right back to you. So I've looked up the chips that I can find of these. This is a uh, DC to DC converter chip. It probably steps up the voltage from the batteries. And that is CE7660. Uh, the next one is this one here, and that's a CD405. That's an eight channel analog multiplexer. I'm not, it says with logic level conversion, so I'm not quite sure how that works. So we might have two different sampling because these are both op amps, which we'll go in a second. And that might be, I don't know, there's a lot of analog circuitry around here, which makes me wonder how much analog filtering is being done. I think maybe quite a lot. And we've got pairs of diodes. We've got, you know, a lot of little capacitors and resistors in here. So I wonder if it's got two sort of analog sampling sets that it's putting together somehow, and that's what it's using the multiplexer for. Oh no, no idea. And this one, these two over here, as I said, are op amps. They are TP2274s. Once I was able to have a really good look at the chips, and those are, um, yeah, just standard low noise op amps. And then if we look at the rest of the circuitry here, as I said, we can see that there are a whole bunch of capacitors and resistors in here. So there could be some sort of filtering network attached to each of these and or after the op amps maybe I don't know and then we've got pairs of diodes which I'm not entirely sure what those would be for in that as well uh, we've got a protection diode it looks like on the power here and perhaps voltage regulators or something I haven't looked these up as well anyway um, I think it's really interesting. This is a really fairly fascinating uh, little device. It's also, it's got the, the battery door. The door is captive, which is nice for such a cheap thing. And um, you can see that the battery terminals touch onto these two pads here. So putting it back together is straightforward. We put that together. Clip it in. It's being held out a bit. And we'll just put in these four screws, put the batteries back in, and see if it still works. No reason to assume it won't. To assume it won't. No. I'll put it down here. This screwdriver is still magnetized. It's usually easier, but not always. I don't tighten those up quite all the way yet. So, I'm finish tightening this up just a little bit. All right, so let's put the batteries back in. Oops, not going to work if I put that one around the wrong way. I'll put the little windscreen back on, turn it back on, we got power, and the same numbers that 
I was looking at previously. So I think it's working just fine. So all in all, a, a little bit of a more complicated gadget inside than I was expecting. Um, quite a lot of analog electronics in it. And I mean, I guess I was expecting at least one op amp. I couldn't see how it would not have one. You've got to do something with the microphone. But I still don't entirely understand why it would have two. And the thing that baffles me a little bit is the multiplexer, but I think that's 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 got to do with reading two different signals from the microphone somehow or another. Anyhow, hope this was interesting. I'm it's still a bit baffled, but interested to look inside it. And uh, thanks. Good night.